Kanisha swept Ohio baseball this weekend in a four-game series as the Bobcats dropped the final game 6-2 Sunday afternoon. Starting on the mound for the green and white was junior Sean Kennedy. He pitched over seven innings and allowed 11 hits and six runs out of 31 at-bats. But Kennedy tallied four strikeouts and head coach Rob Smith was happy with his performance. I thought Sean Kennedy did a very good job today on the mound. You know, all we'd asked out of him was to go out and throw it over the plate. Um, make him put the ball in play and you know hopefully we'd make a few plays behind him and unfortunately you know in a couple instances we didn't and it created some runs for them but I was I was happy about uh, how he threw and he certainly did uh, you know what we asked of him uh, for today on a game four of a, of a Sunday series so he was replaced in the top of the eighth by senior Brett Barber who allowed two hits of six at bats but recorded three strikeouts although coach Smith says their defense was halfway decent today it needs to be more consistent you know, we just got to continue to, to try to improve defensively and, um, you know, get ourselves more consistent. You know, our infield play actually I thought was halfway decent this weekend, but uh, just we just had a couple instances today where, you know, if we make a play or two, it maybe changes uh, things a little bit. But, you know, baseball games don't come down just to one play. Um, but uh, you just can't, you know, you can't have them in bunches. And we had a few today that came at the wrong time and just created some situations that allowed him to, you know, to score some runs. Senior shortstop Dan Schmidt agrees with his coach. Yeah, you know, we got some work to do in the infield, that's for sure, but uh, we're going to get that going. Schmidt logged his 10th RBI in the bottom of the sixth as he hit a two-run single RBI to right field sending J.R. Reynolds and Tyler Wells home. He's also over 500 with runners in scoring position this year. I just, I just want to do what's best for my team every time, and I just want to try to get runners in. Reynolds and Wells were both one for two today, while junior Scott White went two for three. Schmidt says he doesn't think his two runs made a big difference in the game and is looking ahead. Uh, not really, but uh, you know what? We just got to come out. We got to forget about it. Um, we got to come out on Tuesday and we got to beat Youngstown State and get some momentum going for us. Both he and Coach Smith say repetition will lead to success. We just got to keep doing what we're doing. Everything's going to come, come together at some point. A day off tomorrow will grant the team some rest, which may help determine who will take the mound to start on Tuesday as they host Youngstown State at 6 p.m. We'll find a way to, uh, you know, to play hard for 27 outs and see where it gets us. The Bobcats record now drops to 3-15 on the year. Reporting for the Bobcats Sports Showcase, I'm Alex Steck.